Still a category four, but the winds have died down as expected, down to 130 miles per hour, but still very intense storm, slowly drifting off to the north northeast at eight miles per hour. Zooming in here a little closer, Punta Gorda, really in the heart of the strongest part of this storm right now. And looking at velocity, this is the wind speeds. We've had some very strong winds, 150 mile per hour winds just to the east of Arcadia. Port Charlotte, 121 mile per hour winds, and then just a little bit south of that area, Punta Gorda, 116 mile per hour winds. So very strong winds can be very damaging, obviously causing a lot of power outages, which is what we are already seeing. Looking at the county outages, it ported um, in percentages here. Lee County, almost 100% of the residents there without power. That does include Cape Coral and Fort Myers. Thankfully here at home, we are still very quiet. We've been in a dry pattern, although it's been a cooler than average pattern. 61 degrees right now in Indianapolis, 63 in Muncie, 60 in Kokomo. Those winds out of the north keeping us quite cool. 24 hour temperature change, not drastic, but certainly has been cool for this time of year. And these winds out of the north sustain between 5 and 15 miles per hour. So that northerly wind tapping into cooler air and it's going to be chilly tonight. We're going to see those temperatures falling into the low 40s for Indianapolis. Urban heat, high, heat island of Indianapolis likely going to stay frost free, but other areas dropping into those upper 30s, mid 30s in some spots will likely see some patchy frost first thing tomorrow morning. Then we'll see a high of 67 Thursday afternoon. We're back to 70 by Friday. This weekend we'll be watching for the remnants of Ian could have some impacts on Sunday as far as maybe cloud coverage and some breezy winds. Temperatures back into the low 70s and we keep the 70s well into next week.